forever. Dog. Warning. The following podcast may contain fursonas, pig guys, nightmarish cues with no ride at the end, and gigantic ups and downs for me, Scott. It's the PTR Post Office, plus a special little Scott story on Podcast The Ride. All right, the PTR post office is open. Uh, it's not a mailbag. We don't open a bag. We mm. open a door. Let's get the keys out. Jingle, jingle. Oh, oh which, right. Which one is it? No, not. Ah, there's so many keys on this, this thing. This isn't Santa's to... mail sack. This is the which PTR we did, yeah, post office. We did a mail sack. Right. Um, yeah, if you're tracking them. <laughs> Sometimes it's a sack. Right, but, but not today. No sacks are being opened today. Just a post office which is full of sacks. You filled the sacks. Right. Thank you for <laughs> filling our sack. <laughs> oh, my God. And now uh, we're going to open the sacks now that we've opened the post yes. office. Yes, great. Okay, um, if you'd like me to explain it more. <laughs> What we're yeah, doing. Confuse the audience <laughs> with some <laughs> lewd double entendres, please. This is this is the ninth one. On the tenth one, they'll understand. Yeah, they're gonna get. I, I really I'm rooting for you guys. I think you I think you're going to get the premise of an episode where you yeah. ask us questions. They're mm-hmm. questions usually on point, but I think they'll really get it. <laughs> uh, all right, who's who's seeing anything uh, you like? Let me see. Um, here we go. Uh. What would be this is from uh, famously chill dude at tweets for hot dogs. What would be the PTR experience a la the late show with Jimmy Kimmel ride, which I think means mm. the Jimmy Fallon ride. <laughs> is, <laughs> that, this, is that a purposeful combining of every every? I guess because the late show is the uh, late is what, show is Colbert, Colbert mm-hmm. which is and Kim, and Colbert is not Kimmel. And I think I think he, this might be a little a prank. Is this a it's prank? Being, have we been pranked? We have a question for you. Are you pranking us? <sighs> but the PTR experience. Um, okay. Well, it depends on. Is it set at the at the Forever Dog Studios, mm. or is it, or is it at in my garage? Well, I mean, is that, that where the queue is? Oh, maybe is the queue. Your garage or the queue is multiple rooms. It's like the Secret Lives of Pets queue where you go through all the apartment rooms so you start in like mike's living room and then you go to your garage and then you end up in a studio oh i see okay so all the iconic places all the locales right pass by you get to look at but not touch mike's toys you get to admire Mm. leonardo's tail dick (laughs) (laughs) yes um you get to uh step over jason's and by that i mean jane's dog um <laughs> we say our dog now it's our dog. Well, yeah, nice. he is on the ground taking a little nap little um, dog. so yeah, yeah all the real world things would be in the queue i think that's what jason's saying but then the ride itself i mean if we're talking budget i'd like to blue sky this i'd like to say this is going to be a high ticket a big budget rise of the rise of the resistance level budget yeah yeah so i think at this point we're going to use um the best ride system available, which is a Transformers ride system, Spider-Man ride system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously. Sure. Okay, yeah. so it's going to have don't a Don't even put Spider-Man. It's clear. We know it as the Transformers, tra- the Transformers ride, ride system. system. The well, because Spider-Man uh, uh, invented the ride system. Transformers perfected it is the way I kind of Perfe- think about it. Perfected rides in general. Perfected rides All in general. Right. Um, so I think it's going to be, yeah, there's going to be like a little practical sets moving in and out of screens because uh, we need the motion. And at that point, I think you're going to go through our whole lives. You know, you're going to start as us as little boys and we're going to sort of see you're what, gonna, what went wrong. <laughs> what went wrong <laughs> that started this whole podcast, this whole um, um, uh, mental illness that we have. Well, we're now in kind of a, uh, you could have doors opening up a la Tower of Terror and which yeah. I, I maybe I thought of that because there's the little girl at the end of the hallway. Right. But it's, so it's the holograms of us mm-hmm. and like the fatal choices that I don't know what mine is it me like 
wow, mom, the 1993 Disney shareholders <laughs> annual report. Whoa! And then it's me not going into the Twilight Zone, uh-huh. but going into the unrelatable zone. <laughs> that is the <laughs> choice where I made uh-huh. where but for many decades he'll be trapped there and people will not, his peers won't be able to talk to him because mm-hmm. of, he reads shit like this. Uh, mine could be like uh, me showing a girl uh, that I had printed out the entire Return of the Jedi script right when I first got a computer, and she went, what? Why do you have that? And I was like, uh, <laughs> I, uh, it's, uh, and then and I go into the unrelatable zone. You were walking around with a full paper. Printed. It was a big, and it was in a file, or it was in like a folder. I had mm-hmm. the full script. I, had, I was like, oh my gosh, this full Return of the Jedi script is available on the computer. I can print it out. So I printed out a full script. <laughs> and that uh, was it. You felt caught. Like you expected, or did it, maybe it hadn't occurred to you there could be a, a negative reaction. It this. did not occur to me that a female or male would react negatively to me printing out the Return of the Jedi script. Mm-hmm. What were you going to do with it? Like have people read I don't know. I think I just like the you? idea of like looking at it. Like, oh my God, this is what the actors saw when they were doing the movie. My favorite movie at the time maybe was it though or was it like a transcript that somebody it was probably up? a transcript because mm-hmm. that was a lot of the things you'd find online when you were looking for scripts is, is somebody had just made a transcript of the movie and it was not full it wasn't full of those like george you know action descriptions mm-hmm. which i'm sure were very specific and dynamic uh jason <laughs> what's your moment for the because we're by the yeah, way we're about you we're five percent the... through this hypothetical yeah ride. uh probably explaining to like um People, I, my my college girlfriend or anyone who came into my dorm room, my my mm-hmm. desktop background uh, was the Islands of Adventure. Like, oh, see, this is this is <laughs> now this is Marvel superhero island. This is Doctor Seuss Island. Mm. Now this is uh, the Lost Continent, which is it's copyright free. It's myths and legends, but it's copyright free, and they were kind of running out of money, you know. <laughs> You were even within theme park world. You remain so Islands of Adventure centric, like within the niche. You have your niche. It it just hit at the right twelve year old age. That's your that's you made that your whole personality, Islands of Adventure, in a lot of ways. I guess so. <laughs> well, he's got this island. Shirt You're wearing on. a I shirt. I do have an island on shirt YouTube. on. Uh, You're wearing Islands of Adventure shirt. I mean, it's got a bunch of beer on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got beers on it. It was wacky Ikiki ale. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of like brands within this. It was from a Goodwill. I bought it in college. For like a play or like a Halloween costume, I can't it looks remember new. now. Mm. Oh no, this is like from like 2004. That looks that's what they call fresh. I think as far as the look is concerned, it looks new. The, the your your outfit. So oh, thanks. All right, okay. So wait, hold on. Five percent through. Okay, we see <laughs> embarrassing moments as little boys. All right, then we like whirl into like maybe. Well, you're already in college age, so maybe we like get together. It's like origin of the podcast. Nick Mundy is there. He's pounding on the ride vehicle and saying, start this podcast. Oh, a massive, we build it, you know, what he is in our minds, a 40 yeah. foot tall, intimidating. So he's like Megatron. Nick yeah. Mundy's like Megatron. He like puts his hands and he like grabs him and digs him into the ride vehicle and starts shaking it. <laughs> he's like, you will start a podcast. And then like throws the thing around, mm-hmm. throws the vehicle around. That's um, good because that's, I feel like, always cut, like a big creature grabs the vehicle and shakes the vehicle. I feel like that's the first thing to go when they're trimming budgets. Oh, well, this is, remember, this is Transformers, so this is a, this is a screen. It's a screen. Okay. This is going to be so a screen. So we, uh, we definitely want and need it to be a screen It ride. needs this, for, for this ride that I'm envisioning, it has to be a screen. Mm-hmm. It has to be. Okay, so we've already made some uh, some trims. Yeah, right. It's sure. Not, <laughs> because really, this is, the problem is with the budget is this is going to be very long. The so ride we, is going to yeah, be super yeah, yeah. long. Yeah. Well, it has to be because he's asking what's the PTR experience, and the PTR experience is pretty long. Very the long. The episodes are. Yes. So it needs to be. So we're talking like a, I mean, it's at least an hour and a half. Yeah. So then at that point, I think, then this is going to be sort this is going to be like maybe 15 minutes. And then at that point, you go through a highlight reel of all the best podcast the ride moments. So Jason yelling about grapefruit beer that's a dollar too expensive mm-hmm. for him. Uh, uh, the the argument about uh, uh, how many days to stay at Tokyo Disney. Of course. So you see all of these different things play out in a kind of a highlight reel, and you, it's very dynamic. Cause, mm-hmm. And you know, you see. Uh, uh, I, I guess you use like maybe like Soren transitions to go from moment to moment. When when I mean by that, it's just like a fade. <laughs> <laughs> Or like a, a wipe, with like a, a bird of prey 
across his uh, That's frame. good, yeah. And yeah. The, or Michael Eisner hitting a golf ball uh, is a transition for everything. For everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Every always Eisner. We enter. Yeah, there's always Eisner there. <laughs> and he just keeps swinging a golf ball, a golf club at, at us. And then uh, I would like it if out. we could add him say, saying hello every time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I maybe hello doesn't make sense. Does he or just a, an Eisner style four or a yeah. goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. But he says goodbye. goodbye to every golf ball he hits. That's good. Yeah. And then um and then after we've done the highlight reel, I think we have to fight all the villains we've ever fought on the show. In mm-hmm. sort of a uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like I guess like Sinister Six or something. It's Tillman Fertitta. It's uh, Oh, they're all back. They're all back, yeah. 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 And then I, Billy Joe Armstrong shows up, and I'm like, come on, guys, let's get him. And you guys go, I don't know, well, keep him last. Actually, some of the later stuff is, actually, the later stuff is the <laughs> Oh, so, so the right touch splits him. at yeah, some yeah. point. It's going on Scott's enemy aisle. And then Mine Set- has a lot more, by the way. Yeah, a lot of enemies. Mine is packed. Setzer, Lan- Brian Setzer lands on the hood of the vehicle and starts soloing. <laughs> band, like a do- like, He's a boogie woogie boo, a boy from Company B. <laughs> He tries to force bowling shirts on everyone in the, in the uh-huh. vehicle and fedoras. Yep. <laughs> You'll wear this fedora forever. So then, if, so then if you got the Scott path, the ride is an extra 30 minutes. Well, and because part of it, because that involves you just going on the full living with the land as well. There's also living with the land is just in there, mm-hmm. too. So you, ch- you have to chase Brian Setzer uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, Randy Gerber through a crop maze. <laughs> <laughs> so so then the the uh, the Jason path. I would just uh, spend a little time reading you treats, but then switch it up to disgusting old food menus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got some hard disgusting tack. old food stuff, and then the hard tack uh, and, coming up. Yeah, and and yeah. Then scrapple and. I think all of our separate avenues. That's where really the ride gains its length. It's all right. I mean, what do you do with your half hour, Mike? With my half hour, uh, I think it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely the ride vehicle. Like there's screens in front, and you just check for thirty minutes, um, like times for different rides in the park. Mm-hmm. The, whatever park this is in, you basically just check for fast passes for like for 30, other rides for other rides. And so yeah, you're not even. This is going to be good for the budget because there won't even be a need for screens or anything. You'll just be on your console for thirty minutes, refreshing it mm. to see mm. if the you can get better is time. Still. It's the vehicle it's is the still, uh, yeah. You're playing like I don't know, Clocks by Coldplay or something loudly <laughs> in the background. The, all um, of Milo Xiloto. <laughs> all of Milo Xiloto. <laughs> As a train, the train, a digital version of the train, like that flips. Jerusalem bells are ringing. Oh my god. I'm Get a twelve fifteen. Oh, fast pass for quick, Mike. What are a baby? <laughs> what are a baby serving two spoonfuls of mac and cheese and an applesauce oh. packet? <laughs> oh wait, there's a there's an alert. You can get a Marvel Legends figure for three dollars less than you normally can. Oh, order it real quick while you're trying to check. <laughs> so this is yeah. This is. Everybody has their own. I'd specific, rather go specific. down the the avenue with my enemies than, <laughs> than in this, do this. In this Coldplay <laughs> blasting. <laughs> well, it's like Guardians of the Galaxy songs. It's randomized, so oh, you yeah, don't, don't know what you're choose. gonna get. Yeah, it's yeah. thirty. I mean, it could be yeah. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. <laughs> when it's not what you want, but that's what you need. Whatever the yeah. So the scientist, all of it, or that's not the scientist. That's fix you. I'm sorry. I'm singing the wrong Coldplay song. I apologize. And then in year five was when uh, Coldplay became a fixture. <laughs> and that's where There's Scott's still... spirits really sing. <laughs> There's still a lot of bands that I know a good amount of that haven't even come up on the show. So there's still a because lot of little treats. This is the treats. long con that you've played, not just with the audience, but with me personally, that you've top-loaded it with the cool ones. I and like cool stuff, too. through the years, you reveal, but I like this, but I like this. But I'm a big defender of Sugar Ray. Oh my! Oh yeah, God. yeah. Sugar oh Ray is fun. No. no, you tricked me. <laughs> That's part of the ride. Is you, you know tricking what? me with bands that are cool? This happened to me once, but this was but it was wrong. The person was wrong. They were like, "Oh, I thought you only like cool stuff because they." I said I liked the Justin Timberlake. The the um, Future Sex Love sounds, but that's cool. So I don't know. This has happened to me before, but it's been about it's been the wrong. I've been accused of this before. I'm saying, but in I that see. point, it was wrong. And now I guess it's writer, but also like, 
the older I get, the older I get, the less I want to watch movies and TV and more I want to listen to any song. I don't know what that is. Mm. Hmm. Like I'll go like uh, I'm I'm not I used to be much more like picky about country and stuff. And now it's all good. I don't know. I don't know. It's all pretty the standard is just music. Any you just want yeah. music to be. I like music a lot, but I, I am very forgiving of music. Um there's, I, there's not that a lot. I don't. You, that does, when we've had the music argument, you you do just seem like, well, look, there's a guy up on stage with a guitar, and I like it. It's and fun. It's yeah. loud, and that uh-huh. like, wow, that's your standard is just I music could, is being played. I could rank things like I do know what's cooler than other things. I think. Mm-hmm. But, sure, but who is the time? We're all getting older, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now that's. That's practical. That's practical. <laughs> practical thought. Yeah, I know. I like, for example, I know like some of the best musicians and songwriters and stuff are in like Nashville, right? Because that's where there's like a I whole guess. music <laughs> industry, <laughs> like like mm. like the the real country like pros and stuff. Like there's a whole mm, low you, cash is doing their like, low cash is, yeah. Also, all the best bands like low cash. Isn't that where Third Man Studios is? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that where no, no, of course. Yeah, Jack White's Space is? Yeah, there's yeah. cool stuff, obviously. There, but like you can like find something on like Apple Music or Spotify, and then it'll start recommending other people that you've never heard of, and it's just like, oh, this. Here's what good. here's what it is. I've gone through too many cycles of the Jimmy Buffett cycle of oh my god, this exists. These songs are crazy. Some of them are embarrassing. Uh, and then I come on the other side and go, I guess I like it though. I guess I like a lot of this stuff. Yeah. So I've come around those cycle that cycle a couple times to the point where now I think I've just eliminated the part where I go, oh, this is kind of cringe, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And I just go, I guess I like it. Straight to. I guess I just like this You now. hear something that sucks and go straight to liking it. Yeah, I like anything that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, oh, what's your taste of music? Well, anything that sucks. Anything, yeah. Just yeah. like, my favorite genre is sucky music. <laughs> so yeah, all so. of that, like that's, then then that happens in the ride. You just get a 10 minute uh, sidetrack about Band, just in gen- and it's not even like an insightful music conversation. It's just mm-hmm. uh, music exists, and then I look at artists and listen to other artists. So yeah. that happens in the ride. You get that. Yeah, and then yeah, you could yeah. There's I could make a I should make a playlist of this hypothetical ride and and then see what you could get. Is like is the song Red Hot Chili Pepper song I like Dirt on the list? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is. Well, a uh, question for you. Does it suck? <laughs> <laughs> that song does kind of suck. I think <laughs> that does, song does kind of suck. From the... That song is not my favorite song of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but. Does this ride end? Is there an no. end to the ride Here's or the to thing. the question? Here's the thing. Maybe when you started the ride, you thought it ended. But now that we've been doing it for five years, you're like, I guess <laughs> nope. there's no end in sight. There's no end in sight. It's like comic books. All second act. That's right. <laughs> no. <laughs> At one point in time, no. decades ago, there was a first act. There was no act three in sight. <laughs> okay so that the pcr experience is at least five years long that's correct and yeah. running okay um i've got one from ollie hodgkinson uh if you had to spend the night in a theme park which would you choose and where would you sleep maybe nestled up with the pig guy and pirates of the caribbean the pig guy that's pretty good <laughs> no no <laughs> Not Jason no. loved the idea. It's warm and cozy. The pig guy. <laughs> it's not warm. It's well, cold I don't and think pirates. he's talking the whole night. We've, we've talked know? a little. We've talked a little bit about this. I think on the show. Where do you sleep? Because I think we've talked about the bed on pirates with the skeleton. You sleep with the skeleton. Yeah, and I at the start of Pirates of the Caribbean. Over, or is he going to be there? Well, it depends if you have any respect for the ride. <laughs> you won't push him over. Okay, it's not the narrative. It's like I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, is is there any couches in the Carousel of Progress? Can I crash? On There's somebody? couches. Yeah, there are couches. Somebody, yeah, yeah. There's got to yeah. be some furniture to sleep on. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Jason, Jason, and they made the everyone go. hotter. Oh, they did just update did. Carousel of Progress, yeah. and they made everyone hotter on the ride. <laughs> did they change the physical, the look of the character? They did. Yeah, they, yeah. The, the faces dad, look least. different. Yeah, and the mom, I think. Yeah, I don't oh, know. That's you know what? That's a good room. It, it would creep me out, I guess, to have so many characters around. But that New Year's scene where there's, I guess, being around eight robots would be a little odd to spend the night. Mm-hmm. But like, there's got to be a piece of furniture in there that I can, you know, like they, they've got a sectional, don't they? So many of them are sitting on the floor playing video games. I bet there's a free couch. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jason, obviously, Islands of Adventure, I would think, is where you would want to sleep. I mean, it looks very good at night. 
the the lighting setups are very cool at night. I think I'm trying to think. Did you sleep up in the Hulk's arms? He's like lifting oh, that that'd piece be of nice. track. You could like sleep on top of the Hulk. Yeah, because uh, with like Toon Lagoon, you'd probably run into the same thing as Toon Town, mm. where it looks like there's beds and couches and stuff. But they're all hard. Oh, you wouldn't want to sleep on. Like, it. Be- do they have a plastic bed, no. beetle bailey cot in Toon Lagoon? <laughs> I don't think so. No, I think it's mostly flat. I don't even think they have a three dimensional like approximation of what the cartoon characters living quarters would be yeah i what, what about the lighthouse oh the lighthouse would be good at island yeah. of adventure and you could like room at the top of the light you could dress up like the night before christmas father with the cap and the whole thing and like bring up a little candle as you climb the stairs of the islands of adventure lighthouse yeah with no railing i'll just eat it <laughs> just climbing up those well that's stairs. up to you did you? Someone posted like a picture of like across from Oga's in Galaxy's Edge. There's just a stairwell to like a landing with plants on it, and someone's like, "You could you could get up there." <laughs> There's nothing stopping anyone from walking up these stairs. Yeah, there there is no railing, but uh, it's definitely just a stairs to a patio. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to sleep up there though. Yeah, um, what would I do? I would say don't do Animal Kingdom because a lot of those animals come out at night. So I feel like it'd be rowdy and noisy. Yeah, no. Not in the monkey cages? But what if I gained their trust? The animals' trust? They would it'd probably just be a trick and they just beat the shit out of you. Or kill or eat me. <laughs> yes. Um What can I sleep in the hemisphere dancer? At City Walk, I don't know what's in there, but a, pri- a little probably a little plane doesn't have. You're a tall guy, and mm. a little cockpit is going to be tough to. You lean the seat um, back. Jimmy Buffett has a plane where that can recline. That's a the good seat point. can this recline in a plane. Buffett's, yeah, there could be a hammock in there. I he bet might, there's a hammock might, in It's there. probably an upside down control panel so that he can it can lower yeah. on top of his hammock. Yeah. So I guess that's where I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sleep in the hemisphere dancer at city walk orlando scott you could probably sleep at the carthay circle a lot of comfy comfy chairs and couches oh, and stuff counts. in there yeah, yeah. yeah it does count yeah oh yeah uh, um they, 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 they do they have the little elevator i could close up the little elevator and uh yeah yeah, yeah. that sounds nice mm-hmm. uh, let's oh boy well i don't think it's happening anytime soon because they don't offer a a sleeping package, as yeah. far as I know. That's Besides, too like, bad. Hotels, but who cares? It's boring. It is. It's interesting they haven't done private event like lock-ins. It's probably t- would be a <laughs> like a nightmare. library lock-in. <laughs> like yeah, like a gym lock, like a school lock-in that people would do. Mm. Um, I I guess they did the twenty-four hour days or longer. Yeah, you I, know? I've been there, but yeah, yeah, they don't really want you sleeping <laughs> during the twenty-four hour day. No. No, but I mean, you can't control a like tired dads can sleep anywhere in a theme park. You can't remember this. You can't, you can't control, control a, can't a control tired, tired dad. dad. <laughs> tired dad. You remember that, folks. Um, this is interesting. Andrew Lippins, what favorite treat of Jason's would Scott hate the most? Oh man, what a Any question. Any ideas? I don't know which angle to uh, you. I mean, you got to tell me, and I have to react. Mm. I suppose. I really, I feel I. We just recently tweeted a picture of of Scrapple. Um, yeah, that looks like shit to me. It looks gross. That looks yeah. so bad. <laughs> yeah, I hmm, I don't know. I mean, I one of my favorite treats is a hot fudge sundae with chocolate ice cream instead of vanilla ice cream. Is that too sweet for you? Is that too chocolatey? Oh, that sounds Let great. Let me establish a base. Okay, that's good. No, hmm. I get. I think I start running into trouble the more like chemical. We get the fakier it hmm. is. I think okay. is where I start to to dive. You mean like diet sodas? That is the word of stuff like yeah. When you had me try the Coke Starla, I despised that. That was. Like, you ever drink a diet Coke? Ever. No, no, never. You ever drink a regular Coke? Not anymore. No. Not, How do you? Not in decades. No. I decades I feel like now. it's come the uh, uh, zero calorie sodas have come a long way with the introduction of zero line zero mm-hmm. sugar mm-hmm. i think a lot of them do taste pretty close to regular sodas mm-hmm. That's, but then you know, i don't drink regular sodas either so that there's there's mm-hmm. your trouble uh, uh that doesn't mm-hmm. help me necessarily that's true um no but it's that fake diet stuff i like that mm. i i don't like that that, t- that yeah. tastes to me yeah like somebody took a bunch of aspirin and ground them up in the in the mm. drink mm. Mm. that's not my go-to um okay a place 
I it burned down, but a place my family went to <laughs> for for years. For, uh, it, it's still fine, uh, pork roll, Taylor ham, whatever you call it, uh, at a lot of the Jersey boardwalks. But one place we really love, the Hamburger Construction Company, would do it. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa! It's the it's, Hamburger Construction mm, Company. Yeah, it burned down at the start of twenty twenty one. Have you ever told me about this before? <laughs> yeah, it's the T shirt I have that's like endless summer, but it's a big oh, hamburger wow. instead of a. A thing. How have we not done an episode on the Hamburger Construction Company? I'll tell you what. I it burned down at the start, very start of 2021, and I was so recently. Yes, I was so upset. Did and we then, mention this and you? For, I forgot. I don't remember the hamburger. It might have come up in passing because as soon as I found out the news, it's like, well, got to record the Avery Monson episode. <laughs> wow, really? Within minutes, like, yeah, it was a real. And uh, also, the guy, I they're like, we're going to rebuild. And I'm like. That guy's not going to come back. He's like my parents' age. And sure enough, like 30 plus years in a kitchen, uh, an unair conditioned kitchen, sweating every summer, he tapped out and decided to retire. Mm, man. But better, yeah. Uh, I say all this to say that they would do pork roll on like a nice hoagie roll, a nice Italian roll. They would also do a Taylor burger, mm-hmm. which is a burger patty. Taylor pork roll and like two things of American cheese, and then wow. you dress it however you like a burger. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's, all that sounds good to me. I think it would wreck me. I think, as I said, I'm retiring. I from think you just don't want like meat, neon but... color. Like you don't want colors. You yeah. know, what, maybe the discovery like here, coloring. Andrew, is that you ask, "Is it Jason?" But I think I think it might Mike be Mike. Is the yeah, one. I actually think genuine like. Like if we make you one of those goofy slush mix-ins yeah. they have in, in Disneyland, the California Adventure now, where it's like icy and fruit juice and nerds and gummy bear. Like I think maybe we've had it wrong the whole time. Eating like Jason wouldn't be as bad for me as drinking like Mike. <laughs> that is much tougher for yeah. me. Because mm-hmm. I do need to taste alcohol in the alcohol I'm drinking. That mm. is a requirement. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't like I don't like my colors and goos. Yeah, I don't want gummy worms swimming I'm, around in my drink. Yeah, you like sprinkles? I guess I can. Yeah, you would deal with sprinkles. The last, yeah, I, I'll get sprinkle. I'll get rainbow sprinkles on the okay. on Disneyland on like whatever the Main Street ice cream is. Okay. Okay. okay, we can work with that. Would you ever get the sprinkle cone with the, like the chocolate and sprinkles in the waffle cone? I maybe uh, sure okay. that doesn't sound abhorrent. Okay, but would I get a sprinkled drink? That's the if there's a bunch of sprinkles caking the rim of a beverage. Ooh, I think oh, that that sprinkle good. rim! Yeah. Well, I hey, like the sound hey, of that. Hey, I'm gonna have to stop get the some, record. You're salivating uh, on the mic too much. Pavlov's dog over here. Maybe your sprinkle rim. Maybe we can meet in the middle on this. <laughs> I the sprinkle rimming. How do you feel about <laughs> cake batter flavoring, Michael? My friend, I'm drinking it in the coffee oh, right now. Oh, hey, man, that, brother. What you've been having the whole time is cake batter. Here's what it is. I'm drinking a large coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. You can specialize exactly what you want how much of it you want and i don't put any sugar in it i put some of the natural raspberry flavor in it and then i ask for one squirt of cake batter <laughs> that is not the official no, squirt of batter it. squirt one little one little squirt, one of, wee batter, squirt of batter please that is not the official branding you're you're trying to mighty acron the duncan ordering system <laughs> Well, here's the thing. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like they put four swirls in, even though I specified <laughs> on my app that I wanted one. I did not check. You're right. Now that I'm you looking have, at it. But you have, have you vocalized out loud, this is the best coffee drink I've ever had? I have not. Is it better, though? Uh, it's good to have a little sweet. I just don't, some, 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 like McDonald's coffee is very sweet, but it is like you're drinking a shake. Mm-hmm. So I try to get a good mix of just like, you know, not not something overpowering, mm-hmm. but I guess maybe they overpowered me with uh, cake batter today. <laughs> there are episodes I've recorded where I have drank a Duncan peanut butter cup macchiato or now that's Irish insane. cream macchiato. The yeah. peanut butter cup, I guess, I guess if you get a small, it would be okay, but that's it was, like a dessert. It was small, but it comes separated and like you mix it, like you, you stir it up and yeah. that was pretty good. But I am just drinking like iced coffee with half and half. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. So Mike's drinking the candy coffee. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not that sweet. I've had much sweeter. The McDonald's coffee, if you've ever had just an iced coffee from McDonald's, much sweeter than this. It's also not great if you don't get it sweet. It just doesn't have like much coffee flavor. The McDonald's? All. Yeah. Yes. I concur. You kind of need to at least get so like a vanilla. I, yeah, Scott, we'll try you eating Fruity Pebbles at a certain point 
the drinking is maybe I can't even agree to the drinking. Well, we'll see. I'll the, see what I can find. That's where as the far degree as, of sugar will have me. Just I don't like, think you would. I don't want you. I I, I don't offer my drinks to anyone, but uh, I I think you could drink some of this. I don't mm-hmm. think this would be crazy. Okay. Okay. I don't um, know when this is coming out or what orders uh, uh, we're gonna choose to put stuff out in, but I did purchase something for us to consume oh. on air oh. uh, to get in the groove a little. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, we're going to um, like start piecing this out. Yeah, we're, we're going to yeah. we're gonna build up your tolerance before we do the full tasting flight. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Jason, do you have one or do you want me to go? Uh, you go ahead. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. I had it and, of course, lost it. Your mind's... I, I got oh, go one for it, quick. yeah. Uh, uh, King Koth, can we get Cub Reporter Scott's review of the Bugman live show he attended recently. Uh, absolutely, you know, we're talking music and uh, artists who we have a lot of affinity for, and I think sure, yeah. I think Bugman is doing things mm. uh, in the hip hop forum, in the live music <laughs> forum. I've only seen, I want to say, I've only seen like three or four concerts since concerts have returned post COVID, and two of them have been Bugman. <laughs> I've not been disappointed <laughs> I spit by either. When you said that, <laughs> um, uh, he's he's a he's a revelation. Um, I think PF Chang's one of the new songs. Is an absolute jam. Mm-hmm. Uh, I loved when he went into the audience and knocked the projector over. <laughs> um, he, uh, I, when he took off his shirt, the whole audience was uh, electrified. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and King Koth is holding it down on the ones and twos. So a great live presentation. Don't miss this uh, mm-hmm. this great live package if you have the opportunity. Okay, great. Yeah, uh, check it out, everybody. Uh, available on all streaming services. And I to believe hear, to hear Coco Pelli. Live. Mm-hmm. But imagine whatever Mike feels of hearing "Fix You." Fix you by fix Coldplay. You. It's yeah. like, imagine one hundred fix yous all at once, and that's what it's like to hear the icon Bugman doing the iconic song "Coco <laughs> Yeah, same thing. Uh, uh, Jason, you got something? Yeah. Um, this is from at George D three. Just watch the fake doctor final four appalled by Scott's willingness to invalidate the election results. So my question is, mm, uh, I remember. where <laughs> where were you? Uh, where was Scott on January 6th? Hashtag podcast the riot. <laughs> I'll actually answer that. Uh, we were in our respective uh, homes recording an episode <laughs> Well, most of the January six. No, I believe we. Were, I believe no, we paused we, it. We I believe. Answer. I believe the day Did was we? pretty intense, and I think I said maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we'll, we'll record tomorrow. I thought we paused a different. I thought we called no, it maybe a you're different right. day. It was a different day. Maya, yeah, you know, you're right. You, we, we did. We did record an episode. We did. We we did. Record, what episode was? And I don't remember what. Switch. Yeah, no, Jason's right. I, I'm. I'm misremembering. What bullshit were we talking? So go back, and if there's an episode that came out like. January mid January 2021 and it's weird it's like during it's like right like after yeah. uh, that might I don't know we need to go back and figure but out I, what that was but we did do you're right we no did regrets do one. Yeah. I think I made the right decision I don't remember why I overturned them or what for I think maybe I was just bored by the uh, Muppet winning and mm. I, did, I didn't think it was unique or interesting enough <laughs> right and that wasn't the bold leadership that we needed then right it and, was whoever I chose that I don't remember and Jason and I, Jason and I were just, oh, we know it's okay. There, Scott will become reasonable again eventually. That's that was our, our thinking. So <laughs> just let him do this. What's what's yeah. going to happen? We thought like, oh, everything will go back to normal, and we don't need to deal with the urgency. When was this. that? That was probably in, that was like the. I, I'm going to guess the date that it was like March 20th. So when the March 20th hearings have come and mm-hmm. gone, we'll uh, we'll get right. to the bottom yeah. of uh, whether I. <laughs> Do I need to be uh, right, right. banned from being a podcast host? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. I have again lost the, the thing that I was going to say. Um, there's a couple people have asked about sleeping in a theme park. I don't know. Does everybody <laughs> have this fantasy? What? We've had multiple questions about sleeping in a theme park, which I guess is what everybody's just walking around there going, oh, I could sleep over there. I think this is anywhere nice in the the treehouse. I don't remember the Tarzan's treehouse iteration as, and whatever's coming. I just like maybe there'll be a nice like under the stars tropical place to sleep. Yeah. Hopefully um, they bring back the jaunty polka music. Here's a good question. Sure I think they will. Whatever it is. Here's a good question. Uh, what are our fursonas? Do you guys know what this is? Uh, I do know what a oh, fursona, fursona is. Fursonas, oh. um, which I'm ex- I, I have actually not given this any thought, so I'm excited to 
think about it. I so, need this defined a little more, though. Well, I, I, generally... I am not an expert on this, but I believe this is sort of um, adjacent or is the furry community. And in that, you have your own, basically like your own animal character. That's your persona. That's your... Your avatar. Know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like your avatar. And I know I've seen some people online, they have, you know, very nice drawings of this character. And then they sometimes people make an actual suit. Um, I don't, we don't have to do that. Obviously, we don't have time to make a suit right now, but we could ex- at least what animal you would like to be. I think there's no real rules to this. I think it could be any animal. I think you could be maybe a hybrid. Um, so I, I am intrigued by this question because, like, I don't know what animal do you like. What what would the animal do? The animal could I think could have powers. If I let's say the animal could have powers, mm-hmm. sure. Um, like off the top of my head, I feel like I feel like I would like to be like a fox or something. Mm-hmm. Kind okay. of like a fantastic Mr. Fox type, maybe with like a kind of a fancy fox, you know, like uh, uh dressed like with a top hat. Well. Like, like, more... Uncle, like Uncle Wiggly the Rabbit Gentleman is one of my favorite board games as a kid. I don't know if you've ever seen him. No. Jason, you know Uncle Wiggly yeah, the Rabbit Gentleman? Yeah, we've definitely talked about Uncle Wiggly yeah. before. He has uh, rheumatism. Yes, he has Yes, he has trouble walking. And, That's uh, and true. That's canon. His, his nemesis or his antagonist is always trying to give him ear nibbles. <laughs> a board this game is, a car- is this? this well, I think there's stories as well. I believe yeah. Uncle Wiggly is now um, public domain. It, it was a thing where like the stories were published in like a weekly newspaper or magazine, then collected in books. And I had, we used to take the Uncle Wiggly like book out from the library, and then my mom found one at the garage sale. And then she found the board game. So yes. yeah, we were a, we were a Wiggly House. So, so you can say Jason Wiggly. and I. Uncle Wiggly taught Jason and I how to be weird in a lot of ways. Yeah. <laughs> um, so <laughs> Uncle Wiggly, I like. I like Uncle Wiggly. All that to say, but maybe I think like a fancy fox, but maybe more like kind of loose seventies fox, like like um like uh, uh dressed like a Charles Nelson Riley on Match Game fox, maybe. With like a little more of like a neckerchief or something, and kind of like a maybe more of a leisure leisure suit, and kind of like with a martini in his hand, like kind. Of, I guess I guess I'm describing like a swarthy fox, which I guess I I like. I it's guess really I want to be a little bit like '70s swarthy fox, a '70s Playboy <laughs> fox, a '70s Playboy fox with sort of a neckerchief. I could have an ascot. I could have like a Vincent Price ascot on as well. Um, and then do we have names for for personas? Do they have their oh, own names? I, I don't. I don't quite know. Uh, I guess again, yeah, we could, there's no rules to this. I think so. We could probably come up with like, um, um, like what would be yeah, what would be a fun name for this? What is the how persona are they of mine? Named? What are I don't know. I'm sure there's very specific rules depending on what type of yeah. persona you're doing, but um, maybe uh, uh, Foxy. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> with an I. Okay, sure. That's so, well. That fancies it up, doesn't it? Foxy with an I. Yeah, I, this is pretty good. I just, I that's a pretty good persona, honestly. Yeah. Well, and you're look, you're ahead of me because I'm trying to think about this, and I'm like, I don't like these. I don't want to be one. I don't really. I don't. Th- I don't. I've always had a hard time answering what kind of animal would you be. I don't know if I want. But that's be boring. An I know. I that's know. a boring question. I feel like this is a fa- to be like this, a you're fun right. anthropomorphic a- animal. This is everything I ever dreamed this of. This is beyond animal. I need to be more. Yeah. Creative, I guess. You yeah. could just be like Uncle Wiggly, the rabbit gentleman, which I think is what Jason's going to say. Well, I was going to say I'd probably be some variety of sleepy bear. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a pan- panda was where my mind went first. And then I started thinking about the sleepy time tea bear, which we needed to do the universe about. of sleepy yeah. time tea bears. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but what's know. he what's he wearing? Is he wearing a big nightshirt? Is he wearing the night before Christmas dad outfit? Uh yeah. I mean, ever since I was a kid, I've always gravitated to like two sizes too big sleep shirt. Okay. Or you could have like the old like the kids version with the butt flap to go to the bathroom. Yeah. I mean flaps and zippers and, and foot. <laughs> uh when I was child I don't think I've ever said this before. I, I know there's still some child neuroses we haven't talked about. Um I have always uh I had a very sweaty feet as a child and still do. Uh, so, oh, no. oh wow, Jason's sweaty feet. <laughs> so, uh, my the uh, you, you know footy pajamas. It's a one piece I and do, that yeah. includes the feet. And so, at some point, my mom just started cutting the feet off 
because it's just like wow, really? you are going to get you are getting a rash or you're getting irritated. Did you get feet rash as a child I, from your footy pajamas? I, probably like whatever version of like athlete's foot or, or some sort of yeah. Wow. So started cutting them off. I still I hate sleeping with socks on. I do not. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't like that either. Yeah. Wow, sweat in I your do. feet. I do. I do like sleeping with socks. Do you? Really? And no. I, I kick them off triumphantly as the night goes on. I've done that. Before, oh, yeah. sure. That yeah. Good to me. If I've I fall asleep, I would do that. I, I that was a, another. That was a trick in the Boy Scouts. If you go cold weather camping, you put clean socks on before bed because you lo- lose most of your heat from your head or your feet. Mm. So if you wear mm-hmm. a knit cap and you wear socks, you're going to be a lot cozier. Oh. Okay. But don't wear the socks you wore all day because they've absorbed the moisture from the day. Mm. Oh my gosh! So you were your footy pajamas were just like just water bags off. by the end of the night. Just, just, just slosh, well, no, it's slosh. just a pair of scissors. Just chop off the feet. So okay, I got your name. Your name is Barefoot the Bear. That sounds great. So you have you're a bear. You have um, some sort of comfortable pajamas, but then there's kind of like you can see that the the feet have been cut off of the footy pajamas for the bear. Perfect. So you're Barefoot the Bear. And you've got a little cap on, and you've sure. got a little dress. I mean, I like the ease of one piece of clothing, you know. Okay, so barefoot, foxy, and I'm thinking like, what? What if I, if we're using powers, if I could be a zebra, but I'm not mm-hmm. limited to black and white. If I can change those yeah, colors, you're not limited. Yeah, any color in the, so I could just like just think it, manifest it, and then go through a psychedelic light show with my stripes. Like Fruit Stripe Gum, like fruit stripe gum yes. Zebra, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like Fruit Stripe Gum z- Zebra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Another yeah. second Kate eventually. What's his name? <laughs> um, uh, uh, I don't know. So, yeah, but I that I can essentially do like insta heffalump and woozle type mm-hmm. sequences, either to impress people or as a distraction, as kind of like a little flash bomb that goes That's good. off. That's good. Um, so with like, with, I don't want to just be stripey. I don't want to, uh, uh, I don't want to just be basic here. How do I, how do I juice up this name? Um, oh, oh, um. Visor? Or, oh, uh, juice up the like, name. Si- you know, si- Psycho Stripes. Stri- psycho Stripes is good. <laughs> oh, he's joined the psychedelic record, or psychopathic stripe-o? records family. What about Stripo? Just Stripo? Oh, Stripo. I mean, stripo. That's nice and clean. I figured you'd have like a good little package for me. Yeah. You're into the fursona. Well, when I, got a fursona my name nap. was so good. My name was so good. Of course, you, I'm good at When you started with, Fo- yeah, I knew we could pass the ball yeah. to you. So Foxy, Stripo, and Barefoot. Barefoot the Bear. Barefoot the Bear. Perfect. <laughs> Those That's good. Personas, Those folks. are cute. Um, I know the all three of them are cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no question about those. Um, this is a, there was a theme park question. If you could, imagine. oh really? Huh. I think was it just what's what's all of your dream park? What's the one you haven't been to? And now I can't find the actual. Oh, a question. real place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, like what's the what's the one that's the the white whale at this point that you're dying to go to? Oh, well, I guess for me, I mean, I'm the only one who hasn't been to Tokyo or Disney yet, but I'm also yeah. curious of like um, some of the smaller parks we talked about, some of the regional parks with like specific su- stuff like um, Lagoon, Salt Lake City, Lagoon, and hmm. uh, can- uh, is it Kenobi? Kenobi. Can- yeah, Lake. I've been to Kenobi's. I haven't been to Kenobi. I, I don't think that's how you say it, but okay. Kenob- that is how you say Kenobles. Ke- but now you don't say Kenobles. You don't put the emphasis on bulls. Oh, I, you know, I can't speak to that. <laughs> hey, largest free uh, theme park or amusement park in America, I think, because it's still ticket-based oh. systems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mine are bo- uh, Dollywood and Efteling, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to. Why are you so down on it? Because I want to be Those are exciting places to go. I want to be interesting say in this Dollywood avenue. and Efteling. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be interesting in music, but I want to be interesting in my choices for my dream park visit. <laughs> What's your dream song to listen to? Any song? I mean, again, if it sucks, that helps put it at the top of the list. But just songs, any song. I've been. I'm trying to look. Okay, what I've been listening to is Red Hot Chili Peppers. By the way, which is the 20th anniversary of you By the Way. To, you. I need to hear. I don't think I've found all the ins and outs of By the Way. <laughs> Well, there was I a great stereo. Know, it's kind of, there's secrets left to this song. There was a great stereo gum article saying it was their best album. But then look at I also oh, the album, not the song. Yeah, I've also been listening to Wet Leg. That's a new band. That's a cool new band. Okay. Uh, and uh, Harry's House. 
Great. Oh, you were telling us you like Harry Styles. Yeah. Um, I I listened to a song earlier when I was uh, exercising, uh, and I don't think either of you will be happy to hear it, but uh, do you know the song Uma Thurman by Fall Out Boy? Yes, it of samples course I, the yes, Monster song. Of course song. I know Uma Thurman by I Fall Out Boy, Jason. If you were talking about songs or you're just like, hey, I don't know this very good, but I like it. <laughs> I think that's fine. There's been a lot of Monsters talk in the air, so it got caught and stuck in my head, so I put it on. Uh, uh, <laughs> that song uh, exists, for sure. <laughs> you might have, you're, well, you went a little too far for my game. Well, the only reason is just I'm such a traditionalist when it comes to the Monsters. You don't want any that, of that junk getting in the way. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. I'm not against, I mean, in the instance of that low cash song um, about the Beach Boys, that I, that I like. <laughs> when it samples another song and... Yeah. Well, yeah. Low cash Beach Boys is pretty. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. Obviously. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a hypothetical music podcast we do also where I get to go through all of this weird stuff, like the thir- uh, uh, the Everclear cover of Brown Eyed Girl, where he adds his own intro, original musical intro to it. Uh, uh. That. <laughs> That is really uh, this something. music. This music podcast will have different co-hosts. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I perhaps can... none. Perhaps no co-hosts. Songs Come on from in, an America. Scott. The songs Come on from in. The, the songs... door locks behind you. <laughs> we're going album by album through the They Might we're Be doing Giants a nine, catalog. We're doing a 19-part series on the double Everclear album, Songs from an American Movie, Part 1 and 2. <laughs> oh I, maybe it's when bands do their statement about America. They have they have a That's song. That's right. They had a song about being a rock star before Nickelback had a song about being a rock star. And no one believe before it? ever. Ne- yeah, never this before. This was a new premise entirely. Never before that, yeah. So uh, anyway, Jason, you have something? Uh, yeah, uh, from uh, at Mel Got Served. Hi, Mel. Uh, thoughts on the Carousel of Progress wardrobe plus-ups in the final scene? Uh, we addressed it earlier. For, for them. Like them. Uh, yeah, that it, it's more current. It makes sense. I think everyone looks good. There's <laughs> some there cute go. details. There's some cute little Easter eggs in there. Moving on. Great. Moving okay. on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see here. What's uh, a cue that Mike and Jason would do? Thanks for leaving me out. Knowing that <laughs> they couldn't ride the ride at the end. It's from Nick Nick. Oh, couldn't ride the ride at the end. You're gonna only do the queue. Oh, it's Guardians, I think for sure. I would, would walk. Just, through. You would just willingly do the Guardians queue and not go on the ride. Well, I I would prefer to go on the ride, but you if don't that's, get to. That's out. That's the question. But I like the Rocket Show so much, and I like looking at the stuff in the cases. How long like are we? Vibe. So you're you've been told you're gonna do this, and there is no ride at the end. Uh, the wait is. 45 well, minutes. That was was that part of the question was that the wait is intense <laughs> is it the waiting is very long? <laughs> I don't think well, it, if the wait is only 5 minutes then there's no I would do all of them if the wait was only 5 minutes. You have to put some stakes into this, I think. Well, there has to we be We can ask him. Maybe he'll let's respond. Let's say 30 minutes. 30. Is that I mean, Not what too else? Long. It's an in between Hmm. Mm-hmm. Indiana Jones? I mean, I like I Guardians, I think. I think that's uh, that's the bet one of the most fun cues in pre-shows. You can get. I mean, I guess Rise of the Resistance. If you can, if you count, spoiler alert. I, spoiler alert. Two years later, uh, going on Lieutenant Beck's ship. I guess. I guess maybe that one. Then I think that's a cheat. I think that's. But not, that's a cheat. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, we need a queue. That's a ride. There's there's a ride in the queue. There's no a, no rides. A lot of good Easter eggs in the Amazing Spider Amazing Adventures of Spider Man queue. You go through the Daily Bugle offices Always and something. Back to islands. <laughs> Back Always to island. island time. But you would um, do that. You would do that queue and then no ride. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would do that queue and no ride as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll let's, wait thirty wait, minutes. Here, I'm gonna keep. The, the, I'm I'll gonna, wait thirty minutes. I don't, I'm, I'm there for the day. It's I'm gonna keep. I'm deal. gonna keep dialing it up. Forty five. Same. You're, you'll do it. It's well because it's hard. You are, you're explaining to me like what's what's going on there. The ride is broken. Uh, yeah, the ride's broken, but they left the, the they left the, the door open. open. The door is open, but the ride is broken. Well, and do I don't know why you? all the people are still in it. <laughs> I'm that I that yeah. I can't account. That for. That doesn't make much sense. Mm-hmm. So the hypothetical, just a lot of people stuck there. They're like kind of, um, they're like video game avatars. They're like from Roller Coaster Tycoon, where mm. they're like kind of. Uh, like one cell organism. You stuck. They don't. They don't stuck. know that they can leave. They. Th- it is line. I must they're be stuck in on line. a sidewalk, and they don't. There's no way to go, and you've deleted part of the sidewalk, and now they're just stuck roaming. Mm-hmm. The um, only exit. There's no. There's a problem with the entrance as soon as you're in. 
they shut the entrance. We, there's a there's a bee swarm at the entrance. Something that just happened to me at Universal Studios. There's a beehive, so you can't go out the front. <laughs> the only way is out the back. Okay, all right. I don't honestly like if if they said like Spider Man is closed for five years or ten years. We have we, there's a big problem with it, mm-hmm. and you can wait in line and go through the queue. And I had somebody to wait with that wasn't going to be, was like into it, like Jason. <laughs> that wasn't going to give you any shit about Everclear. Yeah, that wasn't going to make, was going to talk with me about Everclear in a real way, in like a reasonable way. And you really, know, wait, what does in a real way mean? Like in a What's real What's Jason going to do that's real about Everclear? Jason's going to listen to what mean... Art Alexakis has to say about, <laughs> you know, growing up and, and fatherhood and all that stuff. And he's going to be, we're going to be dealing, you know, the real he's shit. He's going to get real with you. Yeah. We're going to have yeah. a re- some real, some Mark Marin talk in this queue about Everclear and their double album. Do you know what I'll say on So Much for the Afterglow? Everclear is so much for the Afterglow. The start of it really <laughs> sounds with a nice Beach Boys type kind of riff before they go into the main hard rockin'. Mm-hmm. Song that, uh, yeah, I, but yes, but Beach Boys pastiches <laughs> and tributes have been perfected by low cash. That's true. By current country, uh, 60 somethings <laughs> with, with dyed goatees, low cash. So yeah, go- yeah, I can't imagine that it tops low cash, it probably doesn't, but uh, uh so yeah, so I, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you want there's an agenda of stuff you're gonna get done, but here, okay, uh, I've waited for dumber things than just walking to see the cartoon. Daily Bugle. Oh, I've waited yeah. waited for a lot dumber things I've for waited, a lot longer. I've waited for dumber things at Comic-Con. I've waited for dumber comic book things. We can things. do, you know, Captain America's famous line, We can do. I can do this all day while he's fighting, getting beat up. That's what Jason and I are like with lines. I it doesn't would, phase us at all. I would beg my parents to take me to the dirty Holiday Inn by the airport because they've set up folding tables so different vendors can sell comic books and trading cards. Yeah. Wow. And it smells like cigarettes. Probably still to this day. I've never yeah, we've never met a line that we couldn't we couldn't stand in. Oof. We stood in line for eight hours to meet Springsteen. Was Maybe it longer. eight? I thought Maybe it was longer. six. We got up at like three in the morning. Yeah. We kept doing runs. You did? Jason. I did? did, yeah. It was wow. my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a meeting. It was the day before my birthday. I think I think it was like October third, and then the next day you were, I were like, all right, see you in ten hours because we were gone to mm-hmm. Disneyland for my birthday. That's right. Wow. So yeah, I I, I Spider Man or or Guardians. Jeez. Yeah. You t- it, my takeaway from that is not only is it yes, you'll do it, I think you actively want to do it. Now I, I you're now I, now you seem like you got to a place of like you want this bonding with your pal Jason. You want this forty five well, so minutes. We can talk about rock. You know, yeah. no ride. As it's it's a, a daily bugle, mm-hmm. uh, open house that w- where you can get real about Everclear. As long you as seem ta- wistful for that. We, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as long as we can talk about the instrumental song El Distorto de Melodica that's on so much for the afterglow. As long as his internet's working, he can play like ten or fifteen <laughs> second clips. That was the, my entrance music for Backyard Wrestling. Is that song? Wow. So instrumental, mm-hmm. pretty hard. It's kind of a hard <laughs> song, honestly. It's sort of, sort of like a tough guy type of song. So let's see, what do we got? Um, we're both so we're all so blown. We're so you're, blown. You're, away. you're mentally there. Yeah, a lot of treats and sleep questions. So I'm glad <laughs> we address those. Uh, <laughs> live, um, live, treat, repeat. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> sleep, asking, treat, repeat. People ask you about a Vegas live show. Yeah. One day, okay. If you know where we could do it, if you I, to like a, yeah, a MGM Grand <laughs> or the Park MGM, uh, Park yeah, Park the, uh, the theater uh, residency. Park MGM. <laughs> I mean, it sounds Park good. MGM theater, <laughs> yeah, in between Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga's residencies or the uh, Aerosmith. I think is coming back in September. Yes, because but it, you've been fooled so many times. Yeah, the, this is a Lucy in the football yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. There are uh, discounts in those My Vegas games. One of the rewards Aerosmith? is Aerosmith, but there's no comp tickets. But there are like twenty five percent off tickets. So yeah, you gotta watch They're that. only eighty five dollars. Well, what are you guys doing the podcast for? Why aren't you playing this game to get your you Aerosmith? Gotta, well, discounts? I am playing the game. Uh, uh, I, I like, want to get in the pit, though. I need to be in the pit at the Las Vegas uh, Deuces Are Wild Steven, residency. Steven Tyler, get in the fucking pit. <laughs> you uh, want? You need to become uh, COVID <laughs> e- uh, eligible again because you had yes. your bout with it. Sure, and yeah. That, and it, you want it to run out, and then you want to get 
COVID from Steven Tyler's sweat droplets. This if MF, there was going to be a way to catch a new variant, it would be from Steven Tyler. Yes. This MF gotten monkey pox in the Aerosmith Deuces Wild Pit. <laughs> If uh, I could get on stage and play a little harmonica with Steven, I and have, use his harmon- I'll put my mouth on his dirty, spit-covered harmonica. <laughs> Ew. What's gross about that? <laughs> what did I say that was weird? <laughs> you managed to top Jason's sweaty, footy feet. The, the grossest thing thus far, but then you imagine like Steven Tyler's dirty harmonica. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's like he smells like vanilla or something. Uh, I bet it's fine. I like this question. Like this Dunkin' Donuts vanilla that I... <laughs> You're the most <laughs> idealized <laughs> Steven Tyler I could ever imagine. And he smells nice mm-hmm. and he's a wonderful dad. <laughs> Steven Tyler <laughs> smells like my big treat coffee. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Says Michael. Uh, from at BF Wings 55 do you think Beastly Kingdom would have lived up to its height potential? Would it have been torn down to be replaced by Avatar anyway? No. I'm not tearing it no, I don't think tearing it down. If they did that, like, because Beastly Kingdom was the not built, like, mythical creature part of Animal Kingdom that had, like, a dueling dragon coaster. With like a maybe a was it a robot dragon in the middle of like a castle? I think similar. We should hey, that's a good episode idea. We should go yeah, through the Beastly that, Kingdom. Yeah. Um, but yeah. no, there's not that was a that would have been a cool roller coaster and they generally don't tear down cool roller coasters that are popular. Yeah. So I don't think that would ever have been torn down. And but. especially there was stuff with like big characters. Like if they put Beast in <laughs> from Beauty and the Beast or What? Something they were like not that. gonna put Beast Weren't in they the, gonna put Beast Beastly in there? Kingdom? That's where my Remember mind goes them? first. No, I think it was all like mythical like dragons and the lore of yesteryear. Yeah, beast is mythical. Yeah, a prince who is cursed and dirty. But this into wasn't a beast. part of the this is never leaked that they were gonna put Beast in Beastly Kingdom. No, I, you're making this up, but it's I'm an making it up idea. But I feel like if Disney is making something called Beast like they're gonna find a place to put the beast in there somewhere be interesting to go to a realm that's all beasts like i guess beasts isn't like wookies it's not a, a, a race of it's not they're not like a type of creature yeah because that only happens to this this mean prince right but seeing an entire world of beasts and mm-hmm. baby beasts <laughs> and Lady beasts I, would be interesting. And well, what do they eat and what do they do? Uh, Warner Brothers tried that with Fantastic Beasts, and the world said, no, thank you. <laughs> they tried We're three done. times. They tried three sure? times. Here, let's give it one more go. <laughs> uh, but there's a lot of different characters named Beast also. Obviously, there's an X-Man named Beast. There's the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. There's a Masters of the Universe character, Beast Man. Um was yeah. one of those guys who ran the ghost kitchen? Isn't one of them, or, or is it like a? Yeah, wait, one of those ghost kitchens that Robert Earl runs. The be- yeah, Beast, some- Mister Beast, Mister right? Beast, yes, Mister Beast. They could Burger. have updated. They could have made it cool for the kids by putting Mister Beast in. So yeah, Mister Beast. Yeah, yeah. So there's they could have just done any character that's ever been named Beast or had Beast in the name. Oh man, that would have been great. A theme park show that's like a the Dick Cavett show, and it's long conversations between Beast from X Men, Beast from Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> and Mister Beast Burger just being a scamp like he always is. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> different generations, different perspectives. I think a lot's going to get accomplished there. Mm-hmm. I have a. We, we should maybe wind it down. And I, there's two that kind of go next to each other. I think. Yeah. Potentially. Uh, one is from Sabs. The people want to know when y'all are coming back to Orlando. We don't have an answer for that, but we'd certainly like to. And right next to that, Kate Malo. And I'm sorry. Will Jason Sheridan this. ever give Lake Nona a chance? I live there, and it's not as bad <laughs> as he thinks. Now, I was almost straying away from this, but being that, I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these next to each other and say, because obviously we'd like to come back to Orlando. We're trying to figure that out. Yeah. But if we do that, I feel like at this point we have to take Jason. I we have to like, Lake Nona, Jason. we got to show you around. It's I'm just... sure there's great establishments in Lake Nona. I will happily give it a we... chance. <laughs> what? Good. I, We're waiting for where you step what, in it. What, Go ahead. I, <laughs> whatever. I, if the video goes up, I'm going to look right in this camera. Oh, boy. You made All right, and I'm see. talking right to the audience. Whatever point I was trying to make, I fucked up a long time ago. <laughs> so I'm just along for the ride right now. So, yeah, I will do. Le- I'll Yay. get a shot. Uh, I will go to the, like... <laughs> The, I, it'll be exciting to see Lake Nona's five dollar <laughs> coffee can, compares to Burbank's five dollar coffee. You can, know, it's all the same. It's That's all the same. Can I propose a question to Kate or anyone else? Mm-hmm. Is there a venue 
In <laughs> Lake, <laughs> Lake Nona. Podcast went live in Lake Nona? Is there a venue yes. that could house a little podcast show? All right. little homework for Kate. Let in Lake Is Nona. Is it a coffee shop? Is it in the middle of the lake? Sure. Is it they in... put an aquatic stage up? Yeah. Is it something where like the whole town, like if we just put a couple flyers up, the whole town will gather together? Is that a certain level of teasing where I'll start to get upset? Maybe <laughs> will that lead to a certain, a certain level of what? level of ra- teasing? A teasing, a certain level of razzing where I'm like, I don't know what I did, but I feel real bad. And no, I'm what so it's gonna sorry. what it's gonna do is give you the best night of your life yeah, in yeah. Lake Nona. It's gonna oh, re- okay. completely reverse your expectation. And by the way, the point you were trying to make, which we never disagreed with, was you didn't want these Imagineers to have to move, and now that's but you won on that one. They're not doing it. We think it. so, yeah. They've I, they've, ever for they've at least yeah. for a long they, time. They, yeah. So I think so. It's a perfect opportunity to divide the issues. That re- forced relocation is gone. Great. That's now the yeah. place we can reclaim. We can now reclaim we can, the yeah, beauty Yeah. Now we can start magic. fresh. Fresh start. Uh, yeah. You I, know, fresh start. We're starting fresh, and you're hearing it more and more. <laughs> and I think I think really what, and I guess I shouldn't give this away on the podcast, but I think that uh, that. That podcast should start you coming on stage and just chastising the audience for 15 minutes about living here. (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing here? Lights down, lights down. You're like in full like wrestling heel mode. (laughs) I yeah. Yeah. And then you get like visited by like an angel, maybe. The but mayor of Lake Nona. It's a full, yeah, it's a full like, it's going to be narrative. It's not even the regular podcast. It's we're going to put on a little play. I will oh, go full, I will go yeah. full MGF, uh, MJF, where like at the start of the eight minutes, the audience is booing me. And then by the end, they're like just cheering me. That's, yes, that's what we would like. You want to do a turn, like a double turn, not a double turn, a uh, regular turn. An emotional, a full emotional arc, as you've had with the place, as you will end up at like, from from despising to loving, mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, I think this is I think this is a great idea. If we can make this happen, I think it's something we should uh, put on the high priority list. <laughs> can we do a show in the husk of the like hip office space? <laughs> it was cutting. Uh, absolutely, that might we be could. the most that, that might be the, the place. space we have. I hear it's the free. Roof, <laughs> the roof of the building that the Imagineers were going to be working out of. If we can rent that, the company do like a Beatles like Abbey Road rooftop. <laughs> 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 the Walt Disney Company decided it might not be pertinent if the entire government and the residents of the village. Villages are just frothing at them out to get their hands on their employees. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So I don't know. That sounds like a great idea and a great place to stop. We can't get higher yeah. than yeah. that. Yeah, right I don't now think so. Podcast episode. the ride live in Lake Nona coming. <laughs> so wow, we really cracked it. That's the way to do it. And artists, if you're a little stuck on what to work on next, there's some great personas. Just oh well, the personas. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't even. I was thinking about that too, and I feel like they're. We didn't even have to call for that art. That's coming. They just started. They People just started are like right furiously scribbling as we're saying. Everybody we say got it. the yeah. pens out. Okay, well, then do that. Send it to us on the socials at Podcast The Ride. Merch is available in our T Public store. And in success, maybe our personas will be on some merch. And mm-hmm. uh, for three bonus episodes every month, check out Podcast The Ride, the second gate at patreon.com slash podcast the ride. And also Club Three, where you get one more bonus episode every month and where your participation mm-hmm. is always key as opposed to these post offices which now we're shutting shut clang, in the box clang, clang. <laughs> no more thoughts keep it keep it zipped we talk next time <laughs> as opposed to this oh yeah we talk about what we want to talk yeah. about not with loose suggestions we're not sometimes. staying completely on topic we're not going to talk about everclear sparkle and fade album <laughs> that has the song santa monica and many other you keep going if you want. It's, you should just do a tear, and people can turn it Vol- off whenever. They... Everclear released a song called "Volvo Driving Soccer." You just go, Mom. Jason and I in the vi- was in the video. Um, we'll just get up and go. Which we'll just leave ever, Mike. every okay, Everclear right. song that he when he's trying to have a single, he goes na 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 na. He like puts that in every song. There's a part where he goes, there's like a break. Do do yeah, do do yeah, na 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 na. Like he has yeah na nas, and it's like his bag of tricks, and he's done it Jason, for go. most. Of okay, those. here, Scott, Jason. The I, bit is that you have to leave. Yeah. So no, I, I know. I'm this going. Part of the bit. Scott, I think <laughs> nah, you're nah. Garfield. Uh, please don't oh, get dog. crossed yeah, by the dog door. Uh, nah, nah, uh, um, I know that Art is not the only one. He's like the only original member in the band left at this point. So I don't really know what happened. Um, I've seen Everclear twice. I saw them first. Uh, it was a show with Lifehouse, Matchbox 20, and Everclear. Everclear played second. 
Uh, Matchbox 20, of course, was the closer. Lifehouse played okay. the opening. And they had just... Scott, Hanging yeah, we're by a Moment out. had just come out, which now, was a song that I do still kind of like. I think it's got a pretty good hook when Scott, it comes to the chorus. Scott, I think you're really going to like this and, live uh, version of Birdhouse in Your Soul from that, Severe uh, Tire Matchbox damage. 20 closed. And I will say, this was, I, I believe, around the time of the third Matchbox 20 <laughs> album. And uh, uh, it which is actually a pretty good. It has bright lights. It is like, she got out of town. That's the piano song. And uh, it's, it's, they sounded great is really what I'm trying to say. Matchbox 20 sounded great. And I haven't seen them for years and I would like to see them again. Forever Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by Mike Carlson, Jason Sheridan, Scott Gardner, Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Forever Dog Team and liking our page on Facebook. <laughs>